protesters on Bini Ubawa Lagos Road, armed with placards and green leaves, marched on the expressway. The protesters made a stopover at filling stations, dispensing petrol, and called on the attendants to join in the protest. <laughs> The protesters also made a stopover at every point where there was a barricade manned by other groups of protesters who enforced what they described as total lockdown to press home their demands. Some protesters said they decided to take their destiny in their own hands to call for good governance, better living conditions and employment opportunities. The cost of living in Nigeria is too so high. The common man of the street can no longer feed again. What we are telling Mr. President, the open border should be opened and Nigerians are hungry. We want to eat, we want to be happy. We are here as a youth yeah. to protest, yeah. not to end officers as what. But the corruption in this country is yeah. too much. Yeah. Let us at home, guys, even killing us. Yes. Yes. So we want the cost of food to reduce. I, as a person, I graduated from this of I read English language, first degree, second international relations for 15 years, no job. And you are driving I want, bus. To, I want to say categorically that this is not issue of NSAS. It's a reaction to a systemic failure. We want Nigerian police to be reformed. Yeah. Secondly, we will, we want Nigerian structures yeah, to be reformed. Yeah. We are not happy. Yes. 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 If you look at our youth, there's no job for the for any youth, which is not like that before. Reacting to the violent attack at the Bini Correctional Center and the burning of police station, an activist, Barista Abraham of Yahweh, condemned the act in strong terms, saying violence was never part of the peaceful protest. As a people and as, as an organized structure, we believe in no violent approach to driving our activity. On the strength of which right now we want to condemn the violence that have taken turn in various parts of Benin City. Yes. The protest is not to cause pain on fellow Nigerians, yes. either by robbing them, or either by even raping them or maiming them. Some members of the Nigerian Medical Association were also on the ground to render medical services in case of eventuality. We are trying to offer a bit of solidarity to the ongoing protest. We have seen that in the couple of days, quite a number of casualties have been trooped in into UBTH. I will feel that our presence on ground can also be able to assist these people. Outside barricading major roads in Benin City, particularly the ever busy Benin Upawal Expressway, the protesters, like you can see, have now taken to the street to press on their demands. They say they believe that all they've been doing has not been yielding positive results by merely blocking the roads, but they decided to take to the streets to ensure that to hear their voice. They are calling for good governance, a better Nigeria, where everyone will have equal opportunities and also continue to reap the dividends of democracy. From Benin, Best Mbire reporting.